The production of Thor, Love and Thunder is slowly but surely progressing. In an interview with Variety, director Taika Waititi spoke now about the upcoming production start. According to his own statement, the production will start in Australia this summer and he himself will be in Sydney in April already. The only thing that could postpone the start of the production are the ongoing bushfires in Australia, which are beyond his control anyway. Furthermore, a rumor about the cast is currently circulating because besides the top-class actors like Chris Hemsworth, Natalie Portman and Tessa Thompson, another world-class actor could join the cast, namely Christian Bale. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the Welshman is currently under discussion for a role that is not yet known, but there is no official confirmation from Marvel or Disney yet. The net community has been wanting a better Ray Bill appearance for some time now, similar to the comic template. The alien, who at first glance could be considered a villain due to his frightening appearance, has been playing a role in the Marvel world since the 80s. Similar Similar to Jane Foster, he also seems to be worthy enough to lift Mjolnir, but he has his own powerful weapon called Stormbreaker, which is surely known to all Thor fans. However, is this role suitable for Bale? Hard to say, because an actor with Bale's reputation wouldn't be necessary to impersonate Better Ray Bill. After all, the alien's face will be covered by a mask or CGI effects. On the other hand, there are also enough examples in the MCU which show that many actors lend their voices to the characters but aren't visible themselves. The best example are Vin Diesel and Bradley Cooper, who can be heard but not seen with their characters Groot and Rocket Raccoon. Thor Love and Thunder will be released in US cinemas on November 5th, 2021. On January 5th, the Golden Globes were awarded for the 77th time. In the following, we give you a small overview of the most important winners announced by the satirically critical hosting of Ricky Gervais. This year, it can be observed that the prize did not go to a few big productions, but was distributed to many different projects. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood won three times in the category's Best Picture Comedy, Best Screenplay and for the performance of Brad Pitt, also Best Supporting Actor. The music biopic Rocket Man won two Golden Globes in the category Best Actor for Taron Egerton's performance and Best Original Song for I'm Gonna Love Me Again. Director Sam Mendes also had every reason to be happy because his World War drama 1917 won in the category Best Drama while he himself was crowned Best Director. Not surprisingly, The Joker, or better said Joaquin Phoenix, of course also won. He got the award Best Actor Drama. More surprisingly, however, rapper and actress Aquafina took home a Golden Globe as Best Actress Comedy as the first Asian actress ever. What's also astonishing is the poor performance of Netflix, which only received two prizes out of several nominations. The mafia epic The Irishman, on the other hand, went away completely empty-handed. Of course, there are many more winners, but this would go beyond the scope of this list. It remains to be seen to what extent the Golden Globe winners will be able to put an Oscar on their chimney piece in a few weeks' time as well. This year's Academy Awards will take place in the famous Dolby Theatre in Los Angeles on February 9th. First of all, it should be said that the Joker movie with Joaquin Phoenix stands completely on its own, of course. This means that there's no overlap with other DCEU films. However, this does not exclude the possibility that a Batman could also exist in the world of Joker. We've already seen little Bruce Wayne in the Joker movie. Director Todd Phillips now announced in an interview with Variety that he could definitely imagine a Batman in his Gotham City. After all, his version of the city is beautiful. But he immediately stated that he would not be the suitable director for this. Understandable, since he's not sure if he wants to make a Joker 2 at all, not to mention a Batman movie. Hasty news portals already announced during the cinema release of Joker that a second part has been decided. Nevertheless, Todd Phillips quickly contradicted those rumors because according to his own statement, the current state of affairs is that all sides are open for talks, but nothing more. After Avengers Endgame, James Cameron's blockbuster Avatar is the most successful cinema film of all time with box office takings of 2.7 billion US dollars. No wonder that the Avatar brand still holds a certain fascination, even though it was released more than 10 years ago. Now, new concept images have been published on Avatar's official Twitter account showing the impressive world of Navi. Among other things, you can see representatives of the Navi people flying around on insect-like animals 
whales, riding through the water on the necks of dinosaur-like creatures or watching the sunset on a steep slope. All in all, very pretty pictures which will hardly be seen in the movies since they are only concept pictures so far. It will be exciting to see how star director James Cameron will implement his story in the four sequels he's announced so far. On the actor side, Sam Worthington and Zoe Zeldana are two familiar faces, while Kate Winslet, a new and especially world-famous actress, is joining the cast. If the already planned sequels Avatar 2 and 3 will achieve the necessary box office results, Avatar 4 and 5 will follow. After all, Cameron has expanded his story to a total of five parts and according to his own statement, he's already completed the concept. The cinema release of Avatar 2 is on December 17, 2021, while the third part is supposed to be released on December 22, 2023. Whether and how things will continue then will mainly depend on how the Avatar brand will be received by viewers after so many years. No one has ever achieved this before. Disney is now officially considered the first Hollywood studio to have made more than 10 billion US dollars in a calendar year. The giant company is thus raising a practically unsurpassable mark as last year the turnover was about 13 billion US dollars. The surprising part is that the record in this case is not dependent on individual films like Star Wars 9 or Spider-Man Far From Home. Instead, the sales are continuously high, which means that Disney's delivered one hit after another, at least financially. In the following, a small top 5 of the most successful Disney movies of 2019. Avengers Endgame 2.78 billion US dollars. The Lion King 1.66 billion US dollars. Frozen 2 1.23 billion US dollars. Captain Marvel 1.13 billion US dollars and A Toy Story 1.07 billion US dollars. By the way, the takeover of 20th Century Fox by Disney had no significant impact on sales as the sales of the two studios were still calculated separately for the calendar year 2019. Starting this year, they will be merged and it is to be expected that not only the Fox takeover but also the upcoming Marvel films will further increase the sales curve. With a franchise as large as Star Wars, it's now commonplace that every piece of new information triggers great emotions in fans. Some people excitedly come up their own conspiracy theories and speculations, while others are usually skeptical towards new developments right from the outset. The site Making Star Wars and its operator Jason Ward, who've proven to be quite trustworthy in the past, have now provided new material for the rumor mill. It's already known that Lucasfilm wants to introduce a new era in the Star Wars universe. According to Ward, this will go back about 400 years in time and will start from Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Also, visually, a lot is supposed to change as many viewers complained that Episode 7 to 9 had the rather outdated look of the original trilogy. In terms of content, the films should also be able to stand for themselves in the future and will no longer appear only in trilogies. Yet at the same time, the films should remain connected by the common epoch. This reminds very much of Marvel's shared universe, in which the films coexist perfectly. Only that Marvel Marvel also has the advantage that they can fall back on an almost endless pool of comic artwork. The question is, will this also work for Star Wars? Another rumor of Ward is the mysterious project Luminous. Allegedly, several Star Wars authors are supposed to work on a collaborative story that can be extended to books, comics and computer games. In terms of content, the stories are supposed to take place between 300 and 400 years before the Skywalker saga and are supposed to be very diversified. In one of the stories, a group of Jedi is supposed to go on a journey of discovery into the dangerous unknown regions. 